Albrecht, the Crusader, by Guy Haley. Aliens burn, a crescent of fire held bodies blackening, a challenge to the weird walls of the fortress some kilometres distant. Spindly limbs cracked and vile faces, elongated and inhuman, gave a low and certain glow. The fuel, perhaps, or the air of this strange place, so thin and unwholesome, it was a wonder there was life at all, stayed the fire's assault. Tongues of flame crawled and wicked as they did their work. No blaze from these mortal shells. Ruddy light, gold and amber, red and blue. Marsh light, witch light, not conflagration, as if so far from the Emperor's lucidity, here on the fringe of all, even fire had lost its ardour. Still, the aliens burned, if slowly. The fire's lack could not also be a portion to the crusade. The Black Templars had fought well. High Marshal Helbrecht surveyed his men, initiate and neophyte alike, faces set with doleful mien, their souls as sharp as their swords, wetted for the Emperor's service. Lines of giants contemplated victory. Motionless, they looked through the pyre's fell light, their eyes fixed upon the fortress through the flame. Tell them Will alone would crack that oddly lambent stone, and they would stare until it cracked. Black and white armour, bronze in the furnace glow. Their unmoving forms were as statues. The time of address was upon him, a duty Halbrecht gladly performed. The crusade was his own, called upon his ascension to the ghoul stars, from whence no expedition had yet returned. His would. Immense pride buoyed his heart, tempered swiftly by humility. This was not his victory. He walked into the weirdly chill circle of the fire, turned to face his men. His cloak, so rich, swirled about him. Chained relics rattled upon his plate. Parchments whispered out his devotion as they rasped upon plasteel. But the circlet about his head was tight. His badge of office, his reminder... Who had raised him so high? The Emperor. Upon whose shoulders had he stood? Upon those of his men. This was their victory. No statue, Helbrecht called out to his men. No statue will be raised. No memorial to stand as remark upon our triumph. No songs, no poems, nor tales of deeds so mighty that they astound the ear. No roars of praise, no feasts, no drink, nor meat shall we have. No hymns of valour, no sagas of remembrance shall be heard. Frigid winds on blue sands, the inconstant light of poisoned stars. These things shall be our witness. He dipped his head. Wind blew in cool curls from the jagged mountains away to the south. Strange aurorae danced in cold skies above, their sickening involutions lending the peaks a height they did not possess. It was hard to look through those cosmic veils. The skies of the rim were endless black, the putrescent glimmer of the ghoul stars not enough to part the curtains of the night. And glad was Albrecht that it was so. Beyond their feeble cordon were endless seas of vacuum. No lights in those great gulfs of space, excepting the embers of distant galaxies glowing lonely. Impossible, distant shoals in an ocean that could not be crossed. He raised his head again. The muted crackle of fatless alien flesh, consumed, played chorus to his words. These things do not matter. Who cares for baubles? Who cares for fame? Let our presence upon this world be our memorial. He gestured to his men with one hand, open palm encompassing them all. Some he had known an age, some barely at all. It was of no account. All were his brothers. Let our feet, steel clad, pressed into the soils of this alien land, remark on our passing. Let the bones and ruin we leave behind be our joyful hymnal. What need have we of plaudit and praise? What satisfaction in elevation above the faithful is there that can best the knowledge of service given? For we serve the Emperor, 
His eye is upon us. His will is our guide and our master. When we triumph, he is well pleased. When we falter, he aids our recovery. What is the opinion of men? What matters the swift passing approval of mortal kind when the emperor looks upon our deeds? No matter these trinkets of recognition. He slapped at his own chest. His badges of office clattered. No matter the laurels of victory, no matter the glories others may seek, we are space marines, the Adeptus Astartes, the angels of death. And more than this, he said, his voice dropping quiet, we are the Black Templars. Victory is its own reward. The Templars took their cue. Their shout was sudden and invigorating, blasting back the sinister silence of the lifeless world. Helbracht nodded in approval, his eyes locked with many of those before him. I would grasp each of your hands in turn and give you my heartfelt thanks. This is your victory, your day, your might. I called this crusade not because it would be easy, but because it would be hard. More shouts. Today you have fought. Today... You have won. We stand upon the galactic shore, you and I. Travellers, halting at Stellar Strand. One day mankind will call these hollow worlds all his own. One day shall he set himself across the gulf and bring the word of the Emperor to places unimagined. He clenched his fist. Today is not that day. That is not our duty. He drew his sword and flung out the point so that it transfixed the highest point of the alien fortress. Atop those sheer walls of glimmering crystal, no doubt they watched him now, readying their uncanny weapons, making their strategies in their unknowable alien minds. We have triumphed, but further toil awaits. In yonder castle our foe stands ready. They will not flee, they will not submit. We must smite them all, you and I, and purge this place of their evil now and forevermore. No shouts this time. No roars. The metallic snap of weapons being readied. The muted whir of actuators coming to life. The thrum of power packs as they supplied vitality to war gear. Helbracht at their head. The Black Templars walked through the funeral pyres and towards the alien fortress. Thanks very much, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this one. I thought it was quite stirring. I'm a big fan of Black Templar stuff, but there isn't loads of like really good stories about him. I mean, there's a few, obviously. There's Hell's Reach, which I'm not going to touch for obvious reasons. And, um, I mean, uh, there's, the, there's the Magus um, novel series uh, with the tech priest dude on the, on the ship. I can't remember what it's called. Asperanto. I can't remember what the book series is called, though. Priests of Mars. I think that's it. But they're just, like, in it. Um... Guy Haley, oh, Guy Haley, man. Guy Haley, man. Best writer he is now for me, definitely. Just with the amount of stuff he's turned out recently. And and they're all great. You know, there's nothing I've ever read of his and I thought, oh, that was a bit shit. <laughs> you know, like, you know it's going to be a good a good story, whatever he's done. I've still got to read his first novel series, the ones with the, uh, the Bane Blades, uh, the Bane Blade crew. I think there was like two or three of them novels in that little series, and that was his first thing, I think. Uh, and there's another series about... Um, a ship that's contra- that, a ship that travels through time um and is from the past and it's like an ai ship i forgot i forgot what it's called but i've got it and i just need to read it because it's it looks really good i've heard good things anyway thank you all for watching and i will uh, see you again very very soon this was just a short one for those listening in the future, I'll release this along with uh, another one, which is slightly shorter than normal. I normally do ones and they're all about like 45 minutes around, sometimes more, sometimes a little bit less. But um, I figured uh, because this is such a short one and I'm dragging this out until it gets to 10 minutes, <laughs> I, thought I'd, uh, I thought I'd release this on the same day so I don't screw you over. But there'll be more stuff coming soon. I've also got a lot of reviews coming and uh, a lot of uh, law videos that I'm working on scripts on. But I'm not releasing any law series until I've written all of the scripts for all of the episodes because I want them to be released in time with each other. But uh, for now, I will bid you adieu and, uh, yeah, leave you to have a, a nice night. And I'm I'm waiting now for, to get to the, the, the another 10 seconds of me ranting and, <laughs> and then we'll, we'll say goodbye. But, uh, yeah, very stirring tale, I have to say. I enjoyed it a lot. 
I, I enjoy doing things like that. It means I get to uh, rage a little bit, which is nice. I like that. Anyway, I'm going to go. <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye.